Okay. I'm afraid to open the door. He's not gonna, he doesn't jump, he just hangs out in there. Is he in there? No. Because he was right there in the corner. Not in there? <laughs> oh God, Beth, I swear. Beth is gonna think I'm a lunatic. Okay, I don't How see do him. Know? Now, is he under the door the same way he got in? Yeah, I guess. Is he behind the toilet? I don't know. I guess not. Okay, I'm a big fibber. <laughs> so there was a tarantula. There was. <laughs> he was hanging out in that far so corner. And I'm like, where okay. did he go? Is he black? He's big and he's black. We're looking for a tarantula. That's right, this big. He's got to be three inches. Well, I went in there and sprayed, so maybe that's what takes him out. So he might be over there in the bushes now. Huh? He might be over there in the bushes now. Yeah, that's where they come from. Well, I was hoping to see him and not see him at the same time. <laughs> you know, maybe it's too hot. Maybe that's why they're in the morning. You know, maybe if it gets hotter. If I see him, I'll come. Hey, gang. So, I'm going to give you a little update. I'm driving, um, I'm driving over Pine, Pine Mountains to one of the, it's my Sunday road trip. I do every Sunday to Mount Panos to pick up the groceries, which is the week's money. I never heard it called pretty called groceries until I came to work for this company, but the money, the daily compliance and the money is all called the groceries. So anyway, thought I'd give you a little update while I'm driving. And I have given my notice to PMC for a extended leave of absence. <laughs> That's what they're calling it anyway. I am leaving California in the next few days and gonna head east up to prob somewhere around Fargo. And I'm gonna find me a farmer and work for the, the harvest for a while. Not the sugar beet harvest. Sugar beet starts October 1st. But before that is potatoes, beans, corn, uh, I think rye or wheat or something like that. Anyway, that's what it is. So I'm going to go up there, hook up with a farmer, work for a couple of months, and then probably go down to Texas. Uh, my niece had twins yesterday, so I'll probably go down that way and see them. And hopefully the grandkids and the nieces and nephews and the parents and the brother and the sister and you know all that stuff um, now of course as you know living this way things change things can change quickly and since I am not committed to anything specific at the moment things could change so um, I'm not leaving this job because it sucks or anything like that. I, I enjoy the job. I'm just ready for something new. I'm ready to see somewhere new, do something different, all that good stuff. I do want a, the the goal of this beet harvest, or not beet harvest, the goal of this harvest is to go back to a truck and trailer. Um, Bessie is great for staying put and living in, but I just... I do not want to travel in something that big. So, that's what it is. So anyway, um, kind of nervous, a little bit nervous about going all that way. It's about 1,800 miles from here where I want to go. And with no definite job, but just a probability of a job. I, I feel pretty confident that I'll get something fairly quickly. Uh, my friend Thomas is already up there, and if nothing else, he's he's watching out for me, so he'll have something that I can apply for lined up. So I'm not 
I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm nervous. But at the same time, I don't feel it's going to be a problem. So I've got a little bit of money saved, not a lot. So I don't have anything in the budget for any major breakdowns. My tires are, are fairly new, pretty new, uh, not many miles on them. Uh, the engine runs good. I uh, changed the starter when I went from Big Sur to Ojai. And the only problem I see with the rig is that sometimes I'll turn the key and nothing happens. But if I put my foot on the brake and put it in like drive and back in park or put it to neutral and go to start it, it starts. So the guy that did the starter told me that the starter sometimes does not get enough power to start and that's somewhere from the ignition to the starter. So it's, it's either, he said it's either the ignition or it's somewhere between the ignition and the starter that's uh, slowing the power down to start the, to start the starter. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm hoping that I can wing it with that. So anyway, um, that's it. That's what's going on right now. So today is Sunday and I hope to pull out of here Wednesday morning. Yeah. So I'm getting this week's groceries done for the, all the parks. It's like 20-something parks that I have to do the groceries for. Um, I start gathering them on Sunday and usually by Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, I usually have them done and they're ready to go to the bank on Thursday because we don't put them in the bank till Thursday. But I usually have them done usually by Tuesday afternoon. I'm done with all of them. So my replacement has been hired. He starts the 26th. So the boss lady is going to do next week's groceries and then my replacement will be here. So, yeah. I go back and forth every day. Now, she knows. She, I've, I've known Debbie for a long time, so she knows my gypsy ways. And I, I spend half of my day being miserable because I'm here and the other half loving it here. And since I told her well, well, what happened is I told her that, um, I said, I talked to Thomas this morning. I said, he's already up in, in North Dakota, ready to start working. And she said, so you're wanting to go with him, aren't you? <laughs> I said, yeah, I want to go. And that's how I gave him a notice. She knew. She knows. <laughs> she knows me too well. So that worked out. But even since then, it's like, okay, I'm, a big weight's gone. And I'm smiling a lot more. But at the same time, I go through these periods throughout the day where I don't want to leave. And I think it's more of a steady paycheck than anything because I'm, I mean, California is beautiful. But I'm kind of, I feel like I've seen all I want to see of it. But I sure hate losing that steady paycheck. But there'll be another paycheck in North Dakota, so... I've got a little money saved and I've got I've still got two paychecks coming in from this job and that's it so anyway this is kind of getting long so I'm gonna cut it off here but that's the update I am leap day approaches so yay so ciao babies ciao